Today, I'm going to show you how to complete your COVID-19 school and child care screening. This would be the typical survey that secondary students would complete to screen themselves for COVID-19 symptoms. First, you have to go to the internet and you can go to covid19.ontario.c backslash school screening as the direct link or if you were to conduct a regular search of your search engine for the COVID-19 self-assessment in Ontario for students, you would likely come right to this page here. Once you navigate to the page itself, you'll notice that the uh, first page here provides you with some instructions. Include a start school screening button. So we'll click on that. And I'm gonna pretend that I'm a student completing this self-assessment today. And you'll notice that the questions begin very simply, I am taking this screening as, and in our case, we're going to say student, continue. And now what you'll be approached with is a series of questions that deal with where you live in the province and or what symptoms that you might currently be feeling. So the first question has to do with uh, living in Toronto or Peel region, which are still considered to be closed regions. We don't, we live in Hamilton, so I will go to that. And then you're gonna be asked about possible symptoms that you could feel. Like. So are you currently experiencing any of these following symptoms? Fever and chills, cough or barking cough, shortness of breath, decrease or loss of taste or smell, sore throat or difficulty swallowing, runny or stuffy or congested nose, headache, nausea, vomiting and or diarrhea, or extreme tiredness or muscle aches. So I would evaluate myself and determine if I was feeling any symptoms. In my case, I'm going to say not, so I'm going to click on none of the above. Hit continue. In the last 14 days, have you traveled outside of Canada? So we'll say that I haven't, so I'm going to click no. In the last 14 days, have you been identified as a close contact of someone currently has COVID-19? So let me, in my circumstance, I have not, so I'll click no. In the last four days, have you received a COVID alert exposure notation on your cell phone? So I'm gonna say that I haven't, so in this case, it's a no as well. Has a doctor, healthcare provider, or public health unit told you that you should currently be isolating or staying at home? And I'm gonna pretend that I haven't. I've been following the stay at home order and I've been good and healthy, so I'm gonna say no. And you'll notice that now the assessment is complete and I receive a receipt, a digital receipt here, which I could screenshot and would be a valid attestation uh, to my classroom teacher that I've completed the COVID-19 self-assessment for the day. So this would get me into school, which is great. Another option is you download the results into a PDF. If you click this button, you know, that initial wants to prompt you to save your uh, COVID-19 receipt rate to your desktop and you can save it there as a, a PDF and print it off. By showing that in class, that would validate as well that you've completed self-assessment and allow you to be admitted to school for the remainder of the day. So those are two options to uh, be able to show your validation class as well. And that's it, that's how you, you end up completing your COVID-19 self-assessment for students. Thank you and have a great day.